everyone welcome back to my channel this video is completely unplanned unexpected I'm an absolute mess however um, mid project I was like you know what why aren't I documenting this so I can put it on my YouTube um, maybe it'll kind of encourage others as well okay <laughs> So this project was completely unplanned, unexpected, but it is something that I've been kind of thinking about for a while now, but I've just not made the time for it. I've just been way too busy. Um, and it was a wet and rainy morning. So we are stuck at home. Um, and I thought always rainy weather, cold weather equals the perfect weather for DIYs <laughs> around the house. Um, and that's exactly what we decided to do. So um, if you have been following my Instagram page for a long time now, you would you would have seen that we had painted our kitchen. It was a red mahogany color and then we painted it white. Um, and we don't get much natural sunlight in the house. So we do have a lot of wood around the house. So our kitchen um you know already our house is gloomy it's dark and the wood just made it um even darker so after we did paint it white it just made a whole lot of difference and that was about six years ago i would say um and it's been amazing um every now and then i paint our breakfast island bench um a different color just so, so it can be like a little statement piece but something pushed me um to go a little bit further to even paint it a color that I love the color and I love it for like accents and accent pieces um, but I've I've always wanted to see it on a kitchen I always see it in magazines I always see it around Pinterest I always see it with really great designers that I follow and I absolutely love it and I'm like oh my god I would love to see that in my kitchen but I never had the guts to give it a go until now now I had you all know that I love using Jolly paint for all, for all my DIYs. And I think it was when we were doing our laundry, I, it was like we had a few different colors to choose from. And I had the color Sage. Um, and it's unopened. It was unopened. I didn't end up using it. And I was like, oh my God, let's try this. So we did like a little swatch area, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, and I fell in love. And I'm like, oh my god i absolutely love it but in saying that um we are still torn whether we want to keep it like a two-tone kitchen or we want to just paint it all we don't know yet but i think just for the beginning just so we can kind of get used to it and see how we go with it um we're gonna paint it two-tone so we'll leave maybe the cabinets at the top um white i don't know we'll, we'll wait and see but as well, um, if you have followed my Instagram, you would have seen that our tiles are tic tac tiles. So we have like a frosted glass um, underneath, which I really don't like. Um, so we covered them with some white subway tic tac tiles, extremely fiddly, but they've done the job as well for a few years. But I think I'm ready to take them off and do a little DIY um, budget marble kind of theme for our splashback using some vinyl paper um, we all know that marble can be very expensive and in the future we do want to remodel our kitchen um, and I do know exactly what I want once we do that but for now everything's going to be budget friendly everything's going to be DIY um, but yeah so I thought I'll jump on real quickly explain my little situation at the moment and if you are interested to follow along, then keep watching. Okay, it's an absolute mess here in the kitchen. So this is just the first coat of the island bench. Um, we started this second, but that drawer right there was our swatch that I was talking about. You guys, I'm absolutely loving it against the brass handles that we already, you know, I changed as well. Um, and the bench top actually looks really good with it. So I'm loving it. And I think we're just going to go ahead. Um, I'll bring you closer to the color. That's the color of it. Really pretty. I think it's just something different. Something unique. Very luxe but country at the same time. So 
yeah let's keep on going and I'll update you with how everything goes process you guys from sand in the cabinet doors we had to unscrew everything um, because we needed to sand them outside obviously the dust and the debris and all of that um, so we had to take off all the cabinet doors all the hinges all the hardware everything um, sand down the doors we had to um, we had to use a stain blocker primer because it's such a deep red wood color underneath it would kind of bleed through the paint so we had to do a couple coats of that and let that dry you know a couple of hours between each coat um and then we had to paint and then we had to put a sealer on top and then we had to do a couple of coats of the sealer um from memory so it was such a long process it was so tiring as well um but that's what i absolutely love with jolly paints it's not a chalk paint um it's just a paint that is all in one you know you don't need to prime you don't need to sand i mean you can do a light sand if you want to if there's a lot of texture in your piece um but with everything that i've painted that it's come out seamless it's come out so beautiful you guys seen with my studio makeover i use jolly paints to paint our bricks insane it, this paint i can't recommend it enough um, small projects, big projects like painting your kitchen, highly recommend it. They've also got like a painting your cabinet guide that you can also purchase if this is like your um, your first kind of project and you want some kind of written guidance in front of you. They've got that. Um, but yeah, like honestly, this is not sponsored, you guys. So this is this is my experience, and this is like how I use Jolly Paints. We've painted also our brick um uh, garden beds that are in our garden we've painted our garden shed with it we've painted our little outdoor fireplace kind of area <laughs> um we've painted so we've used it indoors and outdoors and it is incredible so if you are someone that wants to do something diy ish definitely go for that paint um, so many colors to choose from so many custom colors to choose from as well you can make your own colors but yeah so now that the first coat on the island bench here is done I'm gonna now go ahead and carefully paint the second coat which is most likely the last coat but we'll see how we go um, as for the drawer this one that's on right here the sample one that we did it has two coats so I painted it like this the first coat and then the second coat it came out so beautiful and seamless um and then i unwrapped the um the hardware which was beautiful now normally i would take off the hardware i i've taken them off here on the cabinets but these one here these ones here i remember when we were installing them they weren't the best quality so um the holes were very like if we were to take it out and then put it back in it the, the actual screw would be too small for it if that makes sense so we didn't want to risk that so we just kind of taped them and it did the job really well um but that's about it so now time to start on the second coat of the island bench Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been exactly one week since um, I shared 
the start of an, a really unexpected uh, project of painting our kitchen. So as I mentioned last week, I went for the color Sage and to be quite honest, it turned out beautiful. It turned out so pretty and because we had a white kitchen and it was completely different, it turned out amazing. So we've had a week to pretty much just, you know, see how we like it, see how we go. We did run out of paint, so we had to wait till the paint came in so we can finish the other side. But we had a week of pretty much seeing if this is, that's it, we want to go for it. And we have decided to repaint it. Ah. Um, I'm currently at Bunnings, which is our local hardware store, just to get a few things, painting tape and stuff like that, to restart the project. Um, and once I get home, I will show you how it looks um, and also what colors, yes, I said colors, um, that we want to choose from. So. Wish us luck. We just came from the flower markets. Um, but yeah, I'm so nervous once again. But that's the beauty of Dolly Paint. It, the process is so much easier as opposed to when we painted it white all those years ago. Um, the process was a lot more difficult, a lot more technical and a lot more tiring. So I think Dolly Paints makes the project so much easier more enjoyable and the downfall is it makes me in you know indecisive it, it pretty much tells me that oh if i don't like it i can redo it true but time and effort and back pain <laughs> um it's all you know it does play a role but Thank you. <laughs> so in saying that, I'm gonna head to Bunnings. I am pretty late. Uh, sorry, I'm pretty early. Um, we went to the flower markets at 5 a.m. and our local hardware doesn't open up to about, I think seven, so about 20 minutes early. Thought I'll vlog this little section, fill you guys in. And yeah, hopefully it's an in and out visit but I'll see you guys once we get back to the house. Okay, you guys, so this is how the sage looks. Obviously, we've run out of paint to do there, but it looks really pretty. Like, it's really, really nice. Such a beautiful change, especially with the brass handles. We've had literally about a week. I think it's exactly a week um, with the color. And as much as I love it, it's so pretty, I love it. I think I wanna go lighter. So we have some paints that arrived and I'll just show you how, you know, which colors and hopefully we come to a decision real soon. Okay, so now the colors that are potentially <laughs> going to be chosen. Um, well, first, I've got the new varnish. I've not used this before. Um, and I'm tossing and turning whether we want to use the varnish for the for the cabinet or stick with the protective top coat, the clear wax, which I literally love and I use for all the projects. So I'm very familiar with that. Or there's the option of the varnish. There is Gesso White. There is sage, another can of sage if we decide to keep it sage um, and paint the rest of the kitchen. Um, and then we've got Swedish grey, we've got I think two of those and that's what I was attracted to. Um, and we've also got two of the linen. Now I've used linen before and I have used Swedish grey before. We painted inside of our garden shed the Swedish grey, so if you follow my Instagram you would have been up to date with all these DIYs. Um, Swedish, the Swedish grey mixed with linen was a very nice colour. So we have seen it on the swatch chart. So we're going to give that a go. Um, and we've also used linen. We've, we've painted our outside of our patio doors in the linen, which is very nice as well. So now we're just going to test and pretty much decide on what colour we want to 
finally do. But in saying that, if you do plan um, to want to paint your kitchen and you need some sort of guide, hopefully this video gives you that push that it can be done and it's so much easier as opposed to when we painted it white. Um, but Jolly Paint have created a cabinet guide which is amazing because it literally has everything that you need to transform your cabinets. So it's got the tools that you need, it's got the step-by-step -step, um, on what to do, some tips, how to fill you know, holes, how to get your paint ready, the, the finishing wax and the varnish, the, the two options, and the whole curing, cleaning and care of your cabinets, painted cabinets. So it's really handy and it's really great for you to definitely purchase one of these and grab one of these um, to have on hand especially if you decide to paint your cabinets but I mean the same rules apply to like furniture pieces as well so yeah definitely recommend that so the moment of truth now is to do a few swatches on the unpainted cabinet and just see what we would like to do so <laughs> stay tuned So, the colours, these are little swatches. This one is linen, plain. This one is the Swedish grey. And then this one here is a mix of both equal parts. And I think I love that. I think I love this one more. The mix of both, it's not too dark, but it's not too light either. Um, and it's definitely a change. So, I'm going to see how I go with the whole painted cabinet. Um, but go ahead and mix a little bit more of it um, but yeah what do you guys think okay you guys so this is the current dilemma so an update i ended up so this is the color swatch that dolly paint has but you can pretty much mix and make your own colors so what i ended up doing i went between sage and the eucalyptus and the linen and pretty much mixed them together and I well it's still wet this pretty kind of um, very soft very 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 subtle sage color but very very soft um, and the drawers these ones are the mix of the linen and Swedish gray but I'm finding it's like really light um, so yeah still in the process of seeing which one we want to go for and as well we took off the tic tac tiles we decided to go ahead and do that and i'm happy that we did because we didn't realize how much they've discolored until we took them off um, but yeah so one cabinet's down we're going to take off the rest of the cabinets lay them here and get painting so this is the result so far a lot of work has gone in but we are so much happier with the color it, like it's it's more us it's more me um it's just like a it's more on the neutral side where it's just easier to decorate and it's not a color that i'm going to eventually you know get over or anything like that like the sage color i was i loved it for the week but then i just started to feel like oh my god i don't know i don't know um until we changed it to this custom color that I mixed and I absolutely love it. So what I've done here for the splashback, we do want to change it. However, a temporary fix, you've seen how it looked before, it was like a frosted green color. So what we did, we gave it a lick of paint, which is really good because the Jolly paint did stick to it. However, I wanted to give it a little bit of texture. Um, it needs one more coat, but um, the texture was I mixed some baking powder into the paint mixed it through and once i painted it over it gave it like a grainy textured effect um, and that's exactly what i wanted to have i wanted to have something that's a bit more artisan a bit more 
antique-ish and stone-like, something like that, and it really did give it that effect. Um, and then I'm going to top it with some wax to give it that protective layer, and of course, easy to clean as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we're slowly going to um, do the wax coat on top of the cabinet and then followed by some hardware. However, now we need to uh, do the same thing that we did to the splashback, but where the kitchen and the, the kitchen sink is. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done and hopefully we'll be able to complete this project very soon. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the other side of the kitchen. We still need to do these cabinets here. Um, and as well, we finished taking off the tic tac towels that were here, but we did not realize how much they've actually discolored until we you know, took them off. Um, and we're just going to give that the backsplash a good clean, dry it up, tape up the frame, and then go into rolling on so let's get to that whole heap of dishes <laughs> but that's the thing with DIYs especially with the kitchen because it's something that's you know frequently used um, there's always going to be like loose ends <laughs> but we can get to that towards the end and once we're done so I'm just going to move some things happy I am so happy that we went with our gut and we changed the color of the kitchen um, it's just oh, it's so pretty it's honestly so so pretty um, but yeah by now you would probably know that how much I love DIYs how much I love painting how much I love jolly paints um, they their paints really do help with making the process easier and more enjoyable so I hope this video has encouraged you guys to 
think twice um, before you know spending the big money on remodeling um, or throwing pieces of furniture away always ask yourself the question of can this be repurposed or can this be painted and beautified if the answer is yes please go for it if the answer is no then you know we can't save it <laughs> um, but yeah I hope this video has really helped you or and encouraged you to to do that and to get into the whole DIY um, aspect of things and hopefully you enjoyed the whole behind the scenes the bad the bad decisions the regrets as well as you know the results at the end I wanted to share with you guys all of it I know it's a long video but I couldn't help it um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends and I'll see you guys in my next video.